A very good morning to the honorable judges, dedicated teachers, and my fellow friends. My name is Hannah Helena and I'm 10 years old. For today, I will be telling you guys a story titled The Boy Who Cried. Once upon a time, there is a shepherd boy who was born watching his flock of sheep on the hill. Oh, what a boring day. Hmm, what should I do? Aha! Uh -huh. To amuse himself, he shouted, being chased by the wolf. Help! <laughs> the villagers came running as fast as they could to help the boy and save the sheep. But when they arrived, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the boy were laughing at them. The villagers found nothing, but the boy continued laughing. <laughs> When there's no one boy, the villagers said angrily. But the boy didn't care. <laughs> you guys are easy to be fooled. The next day, the boy shepherd boy cried wolf again, fooling the villagers a second time. Hey, don't die to us, boy. It's very bad, bad thing to do. The villagers went the boy a second time and left. So the boy continued watching the clock. La 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 la. <laughs> what a beautiful sheep I have. He said proudly. But then all of a sudden, he saw a real wolf and cried loudly. Wolf! Wolf! The sheep are being chased by the wolf! Help! But this time, no one Nobody turned up to help. The boy felt helpless and scared. His sheep were nowhere to be seen now. By evening when the boy did return home, the villagers wondered, hmm, what happened to him? And they went up the hill. They found the boy sitting on the hill weeping. Why didn't you come when I called out that there was a wolf? He asked angrily. The flock is scattered now, he said. The boy continued weeping loudly. An old villager approached him and said, hmm. People won't believe liars even when they tell the truth. We look, we look for a ship tomorrow morning. Let's go home now. Your parents are worried. Let's go. The moral of the story is lying breaks trust. Nobody trusts a liar, even though they are telling the truth. Thank you.